Oh yeah, we're about to get into it. These are a few of my favorite things. I am so excited to bring you some of my favorites all across the board. I have so many favorite things, and this is just the tip of the iceberg, so don't forget to hit the bell right next to the subscription button to get notified of all my new episodes. My favorite thing in life is obviously my family. One of my second favorite things is my favorite place to travel with my family. So my love of Maui in Hawaii is, well, it actually goes pretty far back. My dad was terrified of flying, didn't fly. So growing up, we didn't fly anywhere. And actually my first flight was to Maui when I was on 90210 and I was 18 years old. I went and fell in love with Maui. My second time I went to Maui, I went with my brother, Randy. So that holds a really special place in my heart. And the very first place I went with my husband, Dean, was Maui. And then when we had Liam, we went back to Maui. And then when I was pregnant with Stella, we went again to Maui. And then when Stella was one years old, we went again to Maui and then I had a lot of kids, so we had to hold off on the Maui for a little bit. Recently, we went back to Maui with all five of our beautiful babies that we have together. So we have Liam, Stella, Hattie, Finn, and Bo, age 12, ranging to our youngest age two. Aloha. This is my kids' favorite snack. It is an applesauce pouch. It is Go Go Squeeze. It is our favorite brand. It's organic, it's apple, it's easy to eat and every single one of my kids loved it. But then it became my favorite snack because I always had them around in the diaper bag, in my purse, in the refrigerator, in the car for pickup. And I would be like, oh my gosh, I'm starving. What can I grab? And I was like, oh, that's easy to eat. So I would pop it off and just be like, mm -mm. People are like, are you eating baby food? And I'm like, um, no, it's just applesauce in a pouch. Like anyone can eat these, it's not a kid thing. But then when I got pregnant with my fifth child, Bo, I had cravings and I had a little bit of a bizarre craving. So I started making this snack, which continues to be my favorite snack. So applesauce, go, go squeeze. And I put it in a bowl. <laughs> okay. I <laughs> craved peanut butter in it. But then after pregnancy, I was like, that was just a pregnancy thing, but it never went away. And it's like my go-to happy place. So it's kind of my midnight snack. And now I've switched to sunflower butter because I'm all about health now. Are you judging me yet? It's so good. So I'll take a heaping spoonful and I will put it nicely on top of my applesauce. <laughs> and literally like every night, I'm like, oh my gosh, okay, I put the kids to bed. Okay, my husband's asleep. What time is it? Well, it's time for me to hit the DVR and watch all of the Real Housewives that I've had just like stockpiled up in my DVR and they're just like, Tori, Tori, get to me, get to me. And I'm like, okay, okay. No one tell me what Dorit did this week or no one tell me what, you know, what happened. That or Kardashians, love them both. Every night. That, it's really hard to talk after you eat. That's my go-to. And then this past summer, I was filming BH90210 in Vancouver and my best friend, Jenny Garth. We've been friends for 30 years, been through everything together, but off camera, we've actually never lived together. We actually lived together during the summer. And every night she'd be like, what are you eating? What is that? And I'd be like, I've worked a hard day. We filmed for hours. I gotta have my thing that makes me unwind. I gotta have my applesauce and my nut butter. And she'd be like, that's disgusting. And I'd be like, have you tried it? And she's like, no, and I never will. Every time I get it out, she's like, oh, Granny's got her sauce out. Look at Granny. This is gonna be your treat when you have no teeth and you're old. You're just gonna be eating it. And I was like, mm, you should try it. It's really good. Just saying. Girls love jewelry. And I am a lucky girl because I'm gonna show you some of my favorite pieces of jewelry from my husband. When my husband and I got together, we fell madly in love. We had both been married before and we'd had the big fancy first weddings. And I was like, I am so madly in love with you. I don't need anything fancy. Like when we get married, I want a ring, but I don't care what it is. When I was little, I would dream about my prince riding in on his white horse. I would make these little string rings. And I told Dean this 
And when he told me he loved me, he was like, I want to spend forever with you. And no joke, he was like, I'm not as crafty as you, but I made you a string ring. And I was like, you remember that conversation? So I've had this. We've been married for 13 years, together almost 14. I have this string ring that he made me. Best piece of jewelry anyone has ever gotten me. But our ring story didn't stop there. We did this beautiful thing where every year on our anniversary, he gives me another ring. It's not about how much they cost or where they're from. It's just a symbol of his love for me. I have them all here. I have 13 rings here. This is a tiger's eye ring and he's really good. And he's always like, oh, it was really chic. He always says the word chic because he like, you say the word chic. He's like, so I thought this was chic and I picked it out for you. And I love that he picks these out himself, even though he does ask my best friend Moran, like his opinion, but still he picks them out. And this one's really cool because it's like a ball and it doesn't look like that normal ring. So uh, I like it because it's pretty cool. And he was like, well, this is a fabulous cocktail ring. But this one's really cool. It's, I forgot what it is. I don't know what it is. It's a stone. <laughs> it's something I forgot. I don't know. This is actually a polished piece of coral and it's really cool. I love this ring, except when I first got it, I have to admit, I was like, it looks a little bit like a candy. And then I actually had to um, hide this one because one of my youngest was one time thought it was a candy. These are the rest of my collection so far because our love story and journey goes on. Here's my journey and my love story so far. My favorite thing that I always have in my purse and in my car and on my bedside table, literally everywhere in the house, is my pain stick. Cryoderm is a pain relieving cold therapy roll on. It's all natural, it's just menthol, arnica. It's brilliant though, there's others out there in the marketplace, this is the one. I'm constantly putting it on my neck. I put it on my temples. Hmm, I'm smelling it, it kind of wakes you up because it's menthol, it's great. Anywhere you have aches and pains, anyone that's like, oh, my back hurts or oh, this hurts, I'm like, Cryoderm. If I could put a chain on it, I would wear it around my neck. People are always like, uh, you smell like a granny, that's like a Bengay. And I'm like, oh, but it's so much better than Bengay. My poor husband sometimes doesn't realize that I have it on. And he'd be like, oh, babe, I love you. And he'll go in for a nuzzle and go, oh, pain stick in my eye, pain stick in my eye. And I'm like, sorry, babe. I can't stop using it and I really love it. So uh, if you have any aches or pains, it's all natural. You can use it during pregnancy. You can use it whenever. Go for Cryoderm. It's the <laughs> It's like life changing. Favorite. If you know me, you know I am a mad DIYer. DIY or die. Like I have done it my whole life. I get it from my mom. I love crafting. So my favorite crafting tool, it's my glue gun. This comes with me everywhere. Uh, literally, I usually have a glue gun in my purse because I believe anything and everything can be solved with the glue gun. I'm constantly using it, of course, a pink one. This is my mini one. I have like hardcore ones at home, but like this is like the nice one. You could just like quickly put in your purse and carry it around. You'd be surprised how many life problems I have solved for people with a glue gun. I love holidays, I live for holidays. And my favorite one, it is Halloween because I can do DIY costumes. Oh, love it so much. My kids are now getting older, but I do kind of have this tradition that when they're little and they're babies, um, I make their DIY costumes and I make food costumes. I don't even know why. I just think it's really cute to dress little kids up as your favorite food product. Go figure. Poor Hattie, her very first costume, she was three weeks old, I made her into a turkey on a platter. So I did a faux platter and I made a huge turkey that kind of went around her, it had the turkey leg, it had the fake vegetables on the platter, and it was like this cute little head sticking out. God, I love that turkey costume. That was a crowd pleaser. I've also uh, dressed Hattie up as a bowl of spaghetti and meatballs with a touch of sauce on her cheeks. Finn was a piece of sushi. So it was really cute because I could swaddle him because he was little and made like the sushi, like uh, salmon 
eggs on him, uh, little chopsticks on his little hat. I've made Hattie into cotton candy, and I've made Finn into an M&M. <laughs> it just makes me laugh. I don't know. Is that crazy? So some of my favorite cleaning products are Mrs. Myers. I love it because it's earth friendly. It's so great for the environment to use these products. They have great scents. It's made with essential oils. I love some of their scents that come out with. They have super cute packaging. This one is one of my favorites and it's lemon verbena. Here's the dish soap. And although their packaging is adorable, what I like to do just to give it a little personal touch, I love to go to yard sales and garage sales and I find vintage bottles. So you can just get a vintage olive oil bottle, put it in and just keep that on your counter and it looks really cute and you don't have to put your products out. I want to show you one of my favorite gadgets. I'm completely not tech savvy. Really bad with electronics and gadgets, but I do know how to drink wine because I'm a mom and this is her mom juice. But I'm not just like any wine drinker. I am a lazy wine drinker. Introducing my favorite gadget. Here's my favorite wine opener. This comes with it. You take it, it's hot. Pops off, put this on top, and here you go. Wait for it, wait for it. Say kids get to bed, wait for it. Here it comes. Music to mom's ears. Oh, hi. Ready to pour. This is my favorite fashion splurge of all time. Uh, it's my Fendi purse. Oh my God. Okay, this thing makes me happy. I got this 25 years ago and it was cray cray. I saw it in a fashion magazine and I was like, oh my gosh, look at that Fendi purse. Whoa, look at the price of that Fendi purse. And then I was at a store and it was Kismet because they were like, oh, we just happened to get one of these in. And I was like, oh gosh. <sighs> go for it. But I was single then, I didn't have kids, and I worked really hard, and I got myself this flashy Fendi purse that I was like, okay, if I'm gonna spend this much, it can't just be like, ooh, a one-time use. So I vowed with myself, it was my inner monologue as I stood there in the store, that if I paid for this and bought it, that I was going to wear this all the time. Not just wearing it to an event, wearing it to a wedding, to a black tie event, to a cocktail party. I'm talking uh, when I go to school pickup. I'm talking about when I go run errands. I'm talking about full on sweats, my hair thrown up in a bun, but I am toting this Fendi purse. I love you so much. It's like the one thing I don't want my kids to touch, and I let them touch everything because I'm that mom. I'm like, it's okay, it's okay, it doesn't bother me, and I'm like, don't you dare touch that Fendi purse. Sorry, I'm just checking what's in the Fendi purse. Yeah. Yay, it's my favorite tampon. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Two for. I love lips, everything lips. I love all colors. And this is one of my favorite lip products. So this is my Power Lips and it's from my Beauty with Tori line, but it is so unbelievable because it's long lasting, long wearing liquid lip. And there are a lot of them out there and I have literally tried them all before this. And most of them are made with alcohol, which dries out your lips. So it stays forever, but you get these really dry, like flaky lips and you're like, ooh, are there like lipstick balls on my lips? And you're like, oh. That didn't come out right. <laughs> Lipstick balls on my left side. Uh, and then your lips are like all like coming off and it's dry and it's flaky. And with this one though, it's actually made with three oils. It has bee pollen oil, it has vitamin E oil and avocado oil. I live for avocado. So I'm like, yes, had me at avocado. I'm a red girl and uh, a lot of people are like, oh, there's so many rules when it comes to red. And I defy that because I'm like, no, there's no rules. Like 
Red is so amazing. And I feel like people are scared of red because they're like, oh, I can't wear red or I'm scared if I have red, it'll bleed or my lips will run or I'll eat something and it'll be off. This has staying power like no other. It says four to six hours, but I'm telling you, I will put this on during the day. I will go through a day, go through a night. I will sleep in it sometimes, wake up in the morning. I have proven this, it is still on. I wish I had this in my single days. It is amazing, I'm gonna show it to you right now. And it's the perfect red, and the Power Lips have amazing empowering names for women. This one's called Roar. I believe you can wear red during the day. I believe you can wear red any season of the year. I believe you can wear red after 40. I believe you can wear red with a dark eyelid. And I believe you can wear red with prints. This is my classic red lip. It takes a second to dry. My husband loves it because I can kiss him and he's like, did you get lipstick on me? I'm like, no, it's not coming off. I hate that annoying like lipstick on the glass when you're having your wine. It's really annoying. It doesn't come off. Lipstick won't come off in your napkin. I can kiss my dog. Say hi, this is Musso. And my lipstick doesn't come off. Let me just let it dry for a second. Dry. Dry. Kissable, great. There you go, that's one of my favorite lip products. So those were some of my favorite things, but wait for it. These are my absolute favorite things in the whole wide world. <laughs> <laughs> this is my husband, Dee. Love you, babe. Hi. My son, Liam. My daughter, Stella. My daughter, Hattie. My son, Finn. And our baby, Bo. And our dog, Musso. Say hi, guys. Hey. Hi. <laughs> this is Tori Tried and True. I've shared with you some of my favorite things, but what are some other favorite things that you want me to share with you? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget, subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes. Say goodbye, guys. Bye, Bye guys. See you next time. Mwah, 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 mwah. Say goodbye, Bo. <laughs> <laughs>